We as Democracy Reporting International have been working in Pakistan since 2010 and one of our focuses here has been to support Pakistani parliament, political parties and civil society on electoral reforms. We use policy research uh, to inform the electoral reforms de debate in the, in the country. So we do a number of uh, briefing papers and policy positions with a view that there are improvements in the legal framework and electoral practices for the next general elections which are due in 2018. What happens in between these, there are a lot of local elections uh, taking place in different provinces. These local elections provide Pakistani elect uh, stakeholders including election commission to test and develop electoral practices before the 2018 general elections. And for us, they also provide an opportunity to track the progress of uh, the elections are proving. We will work on these and make a part of our planning in future. So with this in mind, we deployed election assessment missions to the local government elections, first in Balochistan, then Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, and then uh, to recently held local elections in Sindh and Punjab. But the reason we call them assessments is because they're not fully comprehensive observation missions. With observation missions, you have people out on the ground across the area, so you have much more sense of what's going on all over the place. With an assessment mission, our work is more targeted. So we've been looking at structural issues, at systemic issues that have arisen, but rather than having a whole group of people across the territory, we've had a few people in the capital city of each province, also in Islamabad, and a few election researchers out on the ground in the different places. Assessment was conducted within the framework of international election standards, which are enshrined in the international treaties. And positively, Pakistan has ratified human rights treaties, um, such as the International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights, and Pakistan is, comes under something called the GSP Plus program, which allows better trade conditions. And part of being in this, that Pakistan uh, ratify these human rights treaties and then also make efforts to fulfill them. International election standards give us very clear benchmark what are the aspects of electoral process which we are observing and how we are measuring performance of election commission, provincial governments, parties and so on. We started uh, in the very beginning of the electoral process, uh, before nomination, uh, we looked into the registration of uh, voters, we looked into the candidate nomination, we looked into the rules of campaign. After election day, we need to be here to see the process of the results compilation and also dispute resolution. So in total, it's a few months on the ground. After we do this, we work out our report and our recommendation. We then give the election administration the chance to comment on the report and consider some of their suggestions and recommendations. What we do after we are, we are done with election assessment missions is we go out and present the findings and recommendations of these uh, missions before wider stakeholders. For us, this is a very important part of the process because it enables us to get feedback on our report if there's something maybe we haven't emphasised right or is there's been an error in some way. But also, importantly, it allows stakeholders to be discussing the issues and the ways forward. The recommendations and the discussions have been in the program. I understand that all the problems that we have seen in 2015 elections. The seminars generated a great deal of interest and we had very active participants. Uh, very keen to learn uh, about our findings, but also very keen to learn the reasons why some of our recommendations are the way they are. Um, there was also very lively debate between the election commission, provincial government representatives, and political parties. Election commission ki maavna aur unki renumai ke liye DRI ne jo ye seminar kiya hai, aur ham yahan shareek ho ke hume lag raha hai ki yahan waqi inhone jo bilkul ek sahi tajziya pesh kiya hai. और सही सूरत हाल को वाजे किया है और इस तरह की जो सूरत हाल थी जो तमाम रेकमेंडेशन है वो काबिल अमल रेकमेंडेशन है कमीशन के नुमाइंदे की हैसियत से इस प्लेटफॉर्म से मुझे ये फायदा हो रहा है कि जो लूप से जो शॉर्ट कमिंग्स थी वो मिशंस महसूस हुई उनको कमीशन के सामने रखें और अगला जो हमारा 2018 अगला टारगेट है और लोकल गवर्नमेंट उसके बाद होंगे तो हम इन गलतियों को 2018 में दोहराए नहीं आपके टीम ने जो जो चीजें ऑब्जर्व की है और जो जो कमजोरियां या जो जो पॉजिटिव उसमें रिफॉर्म लानी चाहिए मैं रियली मैं इसको देख के बड़ा खुश हुआ 
कि इससे हमारी सिस्टम में इम्प्रूवमेंट इन शहमान आएगा दिस वॉज वेरी इनलाइटनिंग स्पेशली आई रियली लाइक दैट टॉट अबाउट द अबाउट दी लिमिटेशन ऑफ कॉन्स्टिट्यूंसीज बिकॉज देर शुड नॉट बी डिफरेंस ऑफ मोर देन टेन परसेंट पॉपुलेशन बिटवीन डिफरेंट कॉन्स्टिट्यूंसीज बट हेयर वी सी देर इज अ डिफरेंस ऑफ मोर देन हंड्रेड परसेंट और थाउजेंड परसेंट इन सो मेनी प्लेसेज रिकमेंडेशन पुट फॉरवर्ड बाई दिस वर्कशॉप विल गो अ लॉन्ग वे इन मेकिंग रिफॉर्म्स टू द इलेक्ट्रोल सिस्टम स्पेशली द लोकल गवर्नमेंट इलेक्शन इन के पी एंड ओवरऑल इन द कंट्री हम सब लोग अगर सिर्फ दिया आर आई नहीं बल्कि ये पोलिटिकल पार्टीज को पार्लियामेंटेरियंस तक और इस्पेशली अभी इलेक्शन इलेक्टोर रिफॉर्म्स पे पार्लियामेंट की कमेटी काम करे उन तक भी ये पहुँचनी चाहिए आई हैव सीन सम रिकमेंडेशन रिलेटेड टू द पार्टिसिपेशन ऑफ द रिलीजियस माइनॉरिटीज इन द लोकल गवर्नमेंट इलेक्शन आई थिंक दे आर वेरी हेल्पफुल and uh, the political parties the government uh, should take uh, uh, these recommendations very seriously to enhance the if uh, uh, to enhance the participation and effective representation of religious minorities DRI ka mushkur hu ki unhone jo pakistan ke andar election ka process hai usko transparent independent banane ke liye is pe kaam kiya hai jo charo subo ke andar elections hui hain un elections ka jaiza liya hai khyber pakhtunkhwa ka jaiza liya hai इससे पहले भी इनके हमारे साथ मीटिंग हो रही हैं होती रही हैं और हमने इनके रिकमेंडेशन जो है अभी हमें मिले हैं इनके आ, मैं समझता हूं कि इनके रिकमेंडेशन के नतीजे में फ्यूचर के अंदर इलेक्शन के प्रोसेस को ट्रांसपेरेंट इंडिपेंडेंट और आ, आ, लोगों के लिए काबिल इतम बनाने के लिए हुकूमत इकदाम करेगी हम इनके रिकमेंडेशन को आ, बड़ी वैल्यू अटैच करते हैं और हम समझते हैं कि अगर इलेक्शन का प्रोसेस जारी रहेगा तो जितनी भी खामियां हैं इलेक्शन में और इलेक्शन के कंडक्ट में आ, उसके असलाह जो है वो होती रहेगी दी रिकमेंडेशन विच दिस रिपोर्ट हैज़ गिवन आर क्वाइट यूजफुल एंड इट रियली टेक्स अप द इशू ऑफ ट्रांसपेरेंसी ऑफ द होल इलेक्शन प्रोसेस इट स्पीक्स अबाउट द लिमिटेशन द मेल प्रैक्टिस दैट हैज़ बिन कैरीड आउट इन दैट एरिया एंड ऑल्सो द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल पावर फॉर द इलेक्शन कमीशन I think this report will uh, be one of the uh, document which will educate uh, Pakistani voters and it will hopefully help develop the election process in Pakistan. And I hope that uh, they will also hold a follow-up workshop in which they will come to know as to whether the recommendations which are given have been implemented or not and if not what are the obstacles and how do they overcome all these uh, obstacles and how do they implement all the reforms and the recommendations